I'm not quite sure where I left off, but whatever. Hello, 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 and yo, 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 Liam Funny Man signing in. Welcome back to Famicom Detective Club. I think we're almost at the end. I'm starting to get worried. Shimbo may be in some recommendable school. Even now. What an unbearable thought. Yeah. There. Miss Hayama. What are you doing out here? Miss Hayama, did you manage to get a hold of Principal Larabe yesterday? I called the hotel he said he was going to be staying at. Didn't have any record of him ever checking in. Hmm. After I got off the phone with the hotel, called his house and spoke with him there about the injured student. Why? What's wrong? Principal's alibi is falling apart. I don't know, Dad. Oh, for those of you who don't know, um, I went to a movie today and uh, it was. I can't say I didn't love it. Anywho, mm. what are you doing out here? I could I could ask the same question. Someone double parked and blocked the gate, so I had to come through here on my way in. Oh my. Isn't double parking illegal? Meh. That's right, I remember now. That's the reason I had to come through here 15 years ago, too. There was a car out here. Blocked the gate. So I ran through here instead. Oh my gosh. It was a big black car, I think. Yes, I remember. It looked familiar. It wasn't there when I arrived at the school, either. Whoever it was got there after I did. Miss Hayama, I ever seem to believe she knows whose body was hidden in the school that night. Hmm? You say you saw a large black car here at the school where you ran through here. She never may very well have been in that car. Shinobu was here that night? If that's true, then there's only one place she could be. Zane, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, but aside from Eskimos, who the heck would buy blubber-flavored chewing gum? <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm just... Mm. It's possible. The criminal must have stuffed her body in that wall, sealed it over with a plaster. If that's the case, then I think it's time for another chat with Mr. Tazaki. <clears throat> yeah. Oh boy. <clears throat> you get that gruff voice in. I think this is where I better get the final, final word for that shifty janitor. What's wrong now? the Kaneda murder. Is it really you who plastered the wall? Yeah, of course it was me. You still don't trust me, do ya? Alright, Dad, bye. I want to trust him, but... Did you see a large black car anywhere at the school that night? Later, job. black car anywhere at that school that night. There was somebody at the school? Why do you keep asking so much about that stupid wall? You still don't trust me, do ya?
fact is, I have reason to believe that there is conclusive evidence for the Kaneda case in that wall. In other words, the murder weapon may have been sealed inside it, along with Shinobu as Asakawa herself. What? Mr. Jizaki, have you told me the entire truth up until now? Well, no, I mean, not really, I guess. It was me who plastered that wall, but after I laid the plaster, I decided to take a walk and clear my head while it dried. I accidentally left my bucket of plaster there, so it's possible somebody could have stuck her in there and resealed it while I was away. After... After my buddy Parker uh, just got into Homestuck, I've never been able to look at a bucket the same way again. Which is now why I now use baskets to carry stuff instead. Anywho. Mm. You really think you know who's in the wall? I know I sound suspicious, but I swear I'm telling you the honest truth! Honest truth? <laughs> wow, I'm metal gearing some of Zane's dialogue. Because I think it's funny. This parrot exposition. Metal gearing. Metal gearing? <laughs> that was my snake, a solid snake impression. Um. Hey, there's something else. The next morning, when I got once I get my power drill, I noticed something. Looked like someone had been using my tools. I was sure of it. Using your tools, huh? Um. I never thought anything of it till now. These aren't really the kind of details that ever seem to seem important. I gotta see what's in that wall. Suki needs to know about this too. Please find the killer soon! Please! But well I can't be the principal. It just can't be. You won't do anything to him, will you? Or you won't do anything to him, will you? Uh, so you believe you know which body is sealed into a wall at the old school building? Well, Zane, I can see you've worked quite a lot. I've worked quite a lot out. Quite a lot. I, I assume you probably have a suspect in mind by now. Well, Zane, I've come to some conclusions as well. I've come to some conclusions as well. I know who the owner of the pen is. Hmm? The question is, did you? Yes, this was right. Well, not gonna spoil anything. Correct. Or is it? We need to be very careful the principal from here on out. He's very intelligent do anything at this point. Could the killer really be Kuluarabe? Boss, that wall. I know, Zane. We'll get into it in due time. We'll get to it in due time. Now we need to focus on apprehending Urabe. We're going to be monitoring the situation from the police station. Good work, Zane. We couldn't have done it without you. I can't believe it. Despite all his recognition, could the principal be nothing more than a common criminal? When he was taking him, when he was talking about his grief for Yoko and his trust in Tezaki, I didn't get the slightest bit of suspicion that he was lying. However, if he is the killer, why did he corroborate Tezaki's alibi? Wait, of course! He provided an alibi for himself as well! 
For all I know, he could have even been planning to reveal the lie if he had ever became a suspect to throw suspicion on Tazaki. The real criminal. Hang on a second. If all this is true, then Arabe must have murdered Ninjiro, Goro, and Yoko as well as Shinobu. The three current murders make sense, but why would he have murdered Kaneda 15 years ago? Just doesn't add up. Oh. It's a detective agency. Detective, I'm going to share with you something not many people know. But so Arabe is far from what you think. A long time ago, this so-called Good Samaritan had a hand in Mr. Kaneda's shady affairs. What? Who is this? Someone who hates that old life from the bottom of his heart. Let me tell you, he's in school right now. He's what? <laughs> Hello? They hung up. Oh no. I left Ayumi at the school all by herself. She's in danger. Oh, jeez. Ayumi! You're safe! What's going on? Donna felt a sigh of relief. <sighs> As he finds Ayumi and Hibino safe in front of the high school. Yeah. Ayumi, did you see the principal anywhere? No, I didn't see anybody in there but Mr. Hibino. I was in the classroom the whole time, though, taking his test, so I really couldn't be sure if anybody else was in there or not. Mr. Hibino was supervising me taking the test the whole time. I don't think he'd go either. The principal is back in from his business trip. Really? I just got an anonymous tip at the office just a minute ago. They said the principal was here right now. Hmm? Gotta get to the principal's office. It's locked from the inside! Zane rams the door as hard as he can. Oh my... There they find Principal Urabe face down on his desk, lying in a pool of blood! Oh goodness! Principal! Principal Urabe? Sorry, he's on his voice for Shibino, but it should... Everything was locked, even the windows! What in the world? It's already gone. He appears to have been stabbed. There's an envelope over there by the body. Zane takes the envelope. Inside the envelope, Zane finds a note written on school letterhead. Huh? To whom it may concern. I dare not call myself an educator any longer after having allowed myself to commit so many atrocious crimes. You see, I was once nothing more than a henchman at the late Mr. Kaneda's schemes. But before long, he started to get in my way. So on the night of November 10th, 15 years ago, I murdered him in cold blood. It would have been the perfect crime. I, I, to my astonishment, she'd seen everything, so she tried something like she never guess. She had seen anything, so she tried to get my pursuit in my vehicle. It was then that I ran her down and flooded the scene with her body in my trunk as fast as I could. And all these years, I kept the secret hidden, hoping no one would ever find out. Then, suddenly, two people appeared from the of my dark past. Was a detective by the name of Yoko Kojima. I watched helplessly. She uncovered the facts one by one, inexorably approaching the truth. The other was Goro Kaneda. It was then that I realized he must have seen me flee after I had murdered his father. This is a shock was simply too much for me. Fearing my secret would be exposed, I took the matter in my own hands once again. I was not Yoko and Goro before either could reveal what they saw, what they knew. The fool that I am, only afterwards realized that these acts would ultimately seal my fate. I only regret that I hadn't realized earlier that there was no need to hide the truth for so long. And so, I die in shame. Please believe me, for I am but a shell of a man. Forgive me. I will have no other choice. Tadashi Arabe. <laughs> no. 
so, this is it. This is Warabe, of all people. A cold-blooded murderer. So Zane now realizes the phone call must have come from Warabe himself. Last minute cry for help. Principal. Principal! I... <laughs> come on, let's head back to the office. We need to contact the authorities. This can't be. Principal Warabe is no murderer. I can prove it. You see. I'M THE KILLER! What a twist! If only you hadn't come along... Zane! I would have gotten him away with everything, and he'd still be alive! Ever since that day, 15 years ago, after my missing father phoned me saying he'd taken poison... I just... <laughs> switching to a Jack Nicholson impression for him, you know? I made up for my mind that I had nothing left to live for except to see Jirokane to die by my own hands. I had left my own I left my own last words on the principal's answer machine, and took a knife to Kaneda. That's when Shinobu came in and saw everything. She was lying on the floor, the bloody knife, and me. The murderer! Standing there in shock, I quickly realized what I had to do. She knew it as well as I did, and I had ran. It wasn't long after she escaped that I heard the sound of screeching bricks come down from the road. When I caught up with her, I saw a black car there stop just in front of her. She knew it was lying on the street, motionless. Robin got my message and him hurrying to stop me. He was far, far too late. So after quickly stopping her in the truck, we drove to high school. I dragged her into a remote classroom and the adult man school building, leaving me with her there for dead. I watched her lay there, regretting ever getting either of them involved. But then a second later, I looked back at her, and she wasn't there. She was standing by the window, crying for help. She'd only been unconscious! Looking out the window, I realized there was a girl down there. I thought for sure she'd seen us. I... I couldn't take it. My, my mind went blank. Next thing I knew, I was holding a broken vase, and she knew it was lying at my feet. Looking down at her, I knew she wasn't gonna get up this time. After that, I ran home as fast as I could. The next day, I went to see the principal. Who said this to me? Forget everything. The principal helped me, and Goro knew it all along. That weasel. I wish I'd killed him sooner. Seeing opportunities, I grabs Ayumi's hand. Together, they rush out of the room. No, not that way. It's a dead end. Wait, what? Suddenly, Zane realizes they've taken a wrong turn. They come face to face with the huge mirror. There's nowhere left to run. They're trapped! Oh no! Zane! Ayumi and Zane turn pale as ghosts, and they hear Gabino's footsteps slowly draw closer and closer. Yoko once confronted me. Right where you stand now, asking me this. Sir, back in the old days, you killed someone, didn't you? As I stood stare, there staring at her, I saw her face turn from doubt to anger to fear. Taking on an expression that was the exact same as Shinobu's 15 years earlier. As the forgotten feelings of guilt and animosity suddenly overwhelmed me, I suddenly cried out, Yes, that's right! I killed you! I killed you 15 years ago and I'll kill you now! In a blind rage, I wrung her little neck right then and there until long after she stopped breathing. God. I hadn't meant to. I hadn't meant to kill her. In a fit of confusion, I just dropped her body there and ran home. However, they found her body in a runoff miles from here. Why? She died here. Why didn't they find? Why didn't they find her there? <laughs> no matter. I'll make sure no one finds you nearly as easily. I've managed to keep this secret safe until now. And I don't intend to stop here! I don't intend to stop here. Zane! As Ibido lunges, Zane pulls Ayumi out of the way, just in the nick of time. Ibido's knife strikes the mirror, shattering it into a thousand pieces. Turning away from the mirror, Ibido once again runs the deep, and then suddenly. Oh! Ah! 
behind the mirror. A scout interest in a schoolgirl uniform falls on to him. Well, that case is solved. Shinobu? Well, that case is solved. Down to the bone. <laughs> uh, if you know you're boned. <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry. Mitsugiya Maruyama. I forgot who that was. So, oh yeah, him. Suddenly come rushing onto the scene. They can do nothing but stand there, staring in disbelief. Saying this, Ayumi faints. Ayumi! Then I carries Ayumi away, far from the crime scene. Well, I don't know about you, my, I, I felt a little bit of adrenaline just reading that. Well, Zane, that really was something, wasn't it? I owe you my deepest gratitude for doing all you did. We never could have done this without you. And so the two talk at length about everything that happened. So Hibino is the south source of his own undoing. Yep, Shinobu's body wasn't in the old building after all. Murabi must have put her behind the mirror after she was murdered. That's probably why Mr. Shizaki said his tools looked as though they'd been used. I bet it was the principal who dumped Yoko's body in the river as well. He sure got in over his head when he agreed to help Hibino a lot. I recently learned Robbie never even dealt with Kanena until the murder happened. But he did have a secret of his own to hide. He killed Shinobu, even if it was an accident. Huh? I thought Hibino killed her by smashing her head with a vase. Yes, that's what he claimed in his confession. But forensics has told me that while such a blow would have caused massive damage to your skull, no signs of any such fracture were found. Not even delivered post mortem. In other words, they're telling me Shinobu died in the car accident. But that doesn't make sense. But that doesn't make sense. Why would Mr. Ibino claim she was yelling at the window if she died in the, ca in the accident? Don't tell me. You're still hung up on that ghost story angle, aren't you? <laughs> but seriously, there's something I want to talk to you about. Fire away! <laughs> Due to recent events, I've decided to take on another staff member. Ayumi! Aww! Now, they, now they're partners! Both senses of the word, probably. I don't know. Yeah, still shipping. From this day forward, she'll be a full-fledged employee. Tsugi Detective Agency. Same as you. This thing means on it. I can't believe it. After all we've been through, I'm going to be your partner now. I'm still trying to get over what happened with Yoko and Shinobu. By the way, what's the word on Mr. Hibino? Well, I hope now he's finally free of the demons that have haunted him for so long. <laughs> I'd say he's Probably doing community service. Oh, I, I I forgot to make this joke when I forgot to say this one with when Urabe was found dead. But <laughs> for, if Zane would have said I would have, was gonna have Zane say, <laughs> I guess school's out. <laughs> oh boy, I feel silly for forgetting it. But whatever. Eventually, he can forgive himself for what he's done. And that, and the pen. Oh, that. Apparently, it was a gift from the principal to Hibino back when he entered college. It seemed to have been very important to Hibino. He apparently carried it with him everywhere. But he was calling himself Hibino by that time, not Cheetah. Shouldn't the pen's engravings have read TH? That's a good question.